there are two ways of charging an object and those are charging by induction and charging by conduction when we are charging by induction the two objects doesn't have to touch each other for example we have this ball here and we want to make it positively charged by induction so the first thing we just have to do is bring a negative rod this is a negative rod once we bring it close to this object we notice that the charge in this object gets separated like like charges repel from each other unlike charges attract each other so we see the positive charges moving towards the negative rod and the negative charges moving away from the negative rod so we have successfully separated the charges in this ball so we have to remove these negative charges because you know we are trying to make this ball positively charged to remove the negative charges we have to add this ball so by etting we connect um, the ball to the earth and the negative charges which is freer to move moves to the earth and at the end of the day we have only positive charges on this ball so we have successfully made this ball to become positively charged an example of such um, stuff is when we have a guy and a girl and um, they have something colorful going on between them i mean really colorful so from nowhere boom comes the guy that has the cash without contact without touching we have a situation like this love is a beautiful thing i'm not talking with experience i'm actually speaking from what i had from two guys walking along the road so in charging by induction the key points we have to note is that the two objects does not have to touch each other